Hi, I'm Jared Canfield. And I'm Taylor Forte. And this is What's Happening in BTHS Classroom Edition. This school year opened up smoothly. Students are on track and on their way to class. Freshmen are ready to start their first year at Brick Township High School. Seniors are readying their plans for college, while juniors and sophomores are thick in their studies. Students seem to be enjoying lunch, and teachers are happy to be back. This year, Brick Township High School has made a couple of changes over the summer. Our very own Cole Wynn is here in the studio to tell us a little more about it. Thanks, Jared. We certainly do have a lot of new things at Brick Township High School. I got the chance to catch up with Mr. Chrysler. Let's take a look. Uh, we have a couple of new classes this year. Uh, first one being robotics. Uh, Mr. Lynch is teaching it. It's part of, it will eventually become part of a STEM program. Uh, we also have a uh, digital um, creative illustration course in the art department. And we also have new vending machines run by the um, cafeteria. Uh, cafeteria has a new person in charge, and what they wanted to start off with was some uh, food that was not just nutritious, but some that they actually thought that the students would like to purchase. Uh, we have new doors as part of the um, uh, ongoing maintenance for Brick Township High School. As you know, it's a very old building, and there are a lot of, um, a lot of issues with um, uh, resources in the building. Uh, one thing we want to try to do is to try to secure the, uh, the facility from a waste management standpoint. Uh, we don't want to lose um, uh, cold air in the building. We don't want to allow warm air in. Uh, we are going towards air conditioning for Brick Township High School, uh, hopefully as soon as next year. In order to do that, you have to replace the windows and doors for your heat loss. I'm really enjoying these new vending machines. This stuff's pretty good. Hey, you guys wearing your student IDs? Yes, oh, we yeah. are. With the variety of snacks in the vending machine, I'm starting to get hungry. Aren't you? Oh yeah, it definitely makes me hungry looking at all the new snacks they have. As Cole said, there's a new policy in the school that students must wear a lanyard with their student IDs on at all times. Let's go to Joey D'Angelo, who had the opportunity to speak with Mr. Kleisler and some students about this new policy. I'm here outside Mr. Kleisler's office for an interview about the new school IDs. Okay, that actually isn't a new idea. It's actually something that we were supposed to do several years ago as part of our emergency management plan, uh, but we didn't have the means to ensure every student had a lanyard. Uh, we believe this is the right year to do it. We've been working with the police department, uh, looking at uh, major areas of improvement for our emergency plan. And uh, student identification is the, the number one, uh, and staff member also. However, staff members have been very compliant with wearing the badges. It's the students that we need to introduce it to this year. It's going to be enforced. Our hope is that the students are going to um, not have much of an issue with the lanyards. Um, we don't have an official uh, policy for what the enforcement will be. We're hoping that everyone is going to be encouraged to do it with all the staff members involved in the administration. Uh, but more importantly, we hope that the students are going to recognize that it is an, uh, a security issue. And in this day and age, um, if you work, Anywhere outside in the real world, you're wearing lanyards. Most of the students uh, recognize that. We don't really think there's going to be an issue, but there will be some form of enforcement. Uh, I think the students, when they, we had our grade level meetings and we're explaining the reason why we're doing it, um, I think they will be compliant. We've got great students here. Um, I think when they realize it's not being done to uh, punish, it's being done to protect, um, I don't anticipate problems with our students. Uh, number one, to know who's in our building. Uh, we take security very safely, um, very seriously, and we want to make sure that we know who's in the building. Um, what the students may not know is that the police department run drills with us on a regular basis. Uh, they come in the building un unmarked, un you know, normal clothes where they look like they're students, and they identify with us areas that we need to improve. Uh, we live in a climate where we have to be worried about who's in our building, and this, I think, is the next major improvement we can make to the plan. I can understand that the school is trying to do what they are trying to do. A lot of students might agree with it. A lot of students might disagree with it. I mean, you have to follow the rules, and you got to have to learn that's how it is. I do think it'll help keep our school safer and make sure that the only actual people that are supposed to be in the school are actually in the school at the time so I mean I guess it helps me feel safer. Um, well I, I kind of like it because I know a lot of schools around the country are doing the same thing just like for safety so you know who's in the school and when. From BTHS for BTV I'm Joey D'Angelo back to the studio. After last year's state championship win all eyes are on the Brick Township football team for a second state win. Now we go to Paul Basilato with a preview of the season and to see if we have what it takes for two rings. Hi, I'm Paul Basilato. I'm here at the Brick Township High School football field. We recently had a chance to catch up with some of the football players about the upcoming season. Here's what they had to say. 
um, this season. Our ultimate goal is to go 12 and 0, obviously, and win another state championship. I expect nothing less than a state championship. You know, for the season to come, uh, with all the work we put in, you know, we expect to get a lot out of it. Uh, we're going to take things slow, one game at a time, but, you know, our end result is ready to go 12-0, and undefeated, and we want to get another state championship. We also got the chance to catch up with Coach Dahl about his expectations for this upcoming season. Uh, my expectations for the season are uh, basically the same that they were last year, try to win a championship. Um, we have enough players returning um, to make another run. As long as we stay healthy and the kids stay humble and hungry and focused, we'll be okay. We asked the players and the coaches how they prepare for the upcoming seasons. Um, we practice really hard, you know, I mean, hard work's the most important thing. And, I mean, we were all really pumped for the game, so we had a really good week of practice. All right, the strongest aspect for us is that we fight together as a family. And if we do that, we'll win every single game this season, including a state championship. You know, this off season, we, uh, we all worked really hard. Everybody was in the weight room every single day. After that, we would run. Um, you know, Coach Dahl, he really does a great job of getting us all in shape, getting us physically prepared for the season. And then uh, mentally, you know, come like August, the coaches start hitting us with game plans and things that we're going to execute throughout the season. And, uh, you know, you study it, you watch film, you get mentally prepared. And, uh, you know, we just come out and try and execute on Fridays. Tuesday, Wednesday are, are pretty solid practices. Thursday is usually a walkthrough, so nobody gets hurt. It's the day before the game, make sure everybody is on the same page of what we want to do. And then Friday's game time. From here at the Prick Township High School football field, I'm Paul Baslato, back to you in the studio. And I believe the Dragons are already off to a good start. Oh yeah, go Dragons! Well that's it for our show. We're looking forward to a great year here at Prick Township High School. This has been What's Happening in BTHS Classroom Edition. I'm Jared Canfield. And I'm Taylor Forte, signing out.